Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. Happy December. Merry Christmas. Almost that time. I wish I would figured out how to do like a fun Christmas intro with like snow and lights, but insert that here. <laughs> One thing I wanted to do is just do a little cute gift idea video. I have bought some cute gifts for people and I just kind of wanted to let you guys know in case you were kind of still searching and then none of them are super expensive so it's also a good way to get cheap gift ideas. Cause I know some gift haul videos, the stuff in it, I'm like, well, I can't afford any of that. The stuff I got is relatively cheap. I think they're cute. They're like literally things I bought for my friends and my husband. So there's a couple gift ideas for men. Whether or not you think they're a good gift idea, I did, you know, it's happening. These aren't theoretical. They're real. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one is an AliExpress find. I actually got a couple things from AliExpress, which is like a Chinese Amazon. Things are cheaper. Shipping times, usually they're pretty far out, like a month or so, but I got these pretty fast. Like I would say they shipped within a week and then I got them within a week and a half. I did want to get this video up sooner, but your girl didn't do it. So the first thing is this Sherpa bag. It's a Lululemon dupe and you can see up close it has a nice Sherpa texture and I was actually pleasantly surprised with the quality of this. I ordered this other bag and I posted a reel on my Instagram. Follow me. I ordered this other bag and it was like way smaller than expected. So with this I was a little nervous. It's a good size. I think it's might be a little bigger than the normal belt bag. It has a nice thick buckle, a nice thick strap, with pretty good quality, and it looks very thick and durable. The pouch itself has a pocket zipper and it's smooth on this side, and this is the side up against you, so that's nice because it won't pill or anything. And then inside's pretty spacious. I have a couple things. It has two side pockets on each side. And then I have my wallet, my headphones, and like a pen. I would say it's very spacious and then on. It looks really nice. It's not too bulky. I like the Sherpa design. I think it makes it a little more wintry, a little cuter. Also AliExpress has like tons of normal Lululemon dupes as well, like the smooth nylon material. And I think this was honestly only like $13 and I got it within two weeks. So I highly recommend this. I think they have it in like black, brown red green and the white and I've been wearing this for a month now and I haven't got it dirty which is pretty good you know it looks pretty clean the shirt is like pretty good quality and the zipper is good quality too I haven't had any issues with that getting stuck I'm really happy with this one I also got another thing Man, your, your girl could be on AliExpress for hours, and I am on hours, and I love like designer bag dupes. They're not like exact dupes. I got these cute things, like me and my circle of friends are, are obsessed with those Christian Dior totes, but they're like, I don't know, $8,000. So I saw these little pouches, and you can get them personalized. My friends also don't watch my videos. They're getting these, but I doubt they'll watch this to know. It kind of looks like the print of the Dior bag. It's actually pretty good quality. They're little pouches and then you can get it monogram and personalized. So mine I got, you don't know Jack, because my name's only three letters, so I didn't want it to look kind of dumb. I got, got one for my friend Gabriella and Amanda. They are cute and I got these within, they shipped really fast. They shipped within like three days and then I got them super fast. Up close, it's kind of, canvassy and it's not shiny the letters are like in it so it looks like you know they put it into the design when they printed it on it's not like a press on it a nice gold zipper that sounds pretty sturdy and then inside oh look it comes with a cute pink tassel gold i don't know what color this is it's not pink cute uh, and then inside i will say this material feels a little cheap it has it looks like little three but you hear that like, that feels just like stiff paper. Oh, and then it's just only on the one side. So it's just like a little pouch. What could be, you know, if I was $8,000 richer. And it's cute and it says people's names, so. And these were like $10, 10 out of 10. The next couple of things I got from Etsy. I've been seeing these cups everywhere. Man, I should have unpacked them. They're these studded tumblers. 
fish. You see that? It's like thick. It's high. Like you can feel the texture. It had a Starbucks logo, but it's a skeleton mermaid, which I thought was cool. It's pretty tall. I think it's 32 ounces, maybe. I don't know. And then it comes with the straw. Nice and thick. It's not like squishy. So my one friend, Haley, who also doesn't watch my videos, she like doesn't have a water bottle. And I always make fun of her. I don't think she drinks enough water because without a water bottle, you're not drinking that much water, you know? So I thought these were cute. Plus, I've been wanting one a while. My toxic trait is anytime I buy a friend a present, I want one too. Like those pouches, I needed one. These, I needed one. Like I bought some stuff and I'm like, I buy myself a magic one. I got these two colors and I'll link it down below, but this is the iridescent green and this is the iridescent silver. You can pick the color of the cup and then the color of the sticker as well. So this is just a white sticker and then this is like an opal sticker. You can see it's kind of like translucent, but yeah. These are cute. I really like them. I will say when you hold them, they kind of feel like you can feel the studs. So it might be a little weird to get used to that. I think they're really cute. And these were, I think like $25. I got them on a sale and I did pick the cheapest colors. Highly recommend. And these shipped out fast. And I mean, these are coming from the US. So also a good deal. And then I took a risk on this, this mystery box of jewelry. It was pretty cheap. This was like $35. And this should day of, so we'll see. It's just been sitting and I'm like, and everyone's like, are you gonna open that package? I'm like, no, I'm waiting to film a video because I want to be surprised. It's like a gold shop, oh my gold. So it's kind of all gold, which is the color jewelry I get anyway. So let's see, what else? Do, oh, you write your wrist size, your name in case, and your initial in case they personalize anything, your horoscope. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I wish I could tilt. Oh, I can tilt this down. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's cute. I guess it's all in this little box, which is misleading. Cute. I think it said you get five to six pieces. I couldn't make that up. Five. Five to six or three to four. And this with the coupon costs like $35. So I think this would be a really cute idea if you don't know like really what to get somebody, then you make someone else figure it out. Okay, so this is cute. It's on like a thick gold chain. Yeah, you see that? And then it has a J initial. Putting on necklaces by yourself is a lot of pressure. Cute. They gave me a necklace that says 222, but I don't know why. I don't think those numbers mean anything to me. It's not like I wrote, I love the number two. But it's a nice chain bracelet. I don't love these types of bracelets because it's like a clasp. So I don't know how to put that on myself. But if it was on, that would be pretty cute. Okay, so I just messaged the gold box sellers and I asked about the 222 thing and they sent me this picture of angel numbers, like corresponding number means something. So 222 is alignment, which is you are in the right place at the, oh no, you are in the right place and the right time. They're obviously all like inspirational and like those daily affirmations. Or I like the bracelet more now that I know the 222 means something and I think that is sweet. So I just wanted to let you guys know I did get clarification on that. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this guy. You see that? That's really cool. A little gold plated rectangle. Oh my gosh. And on the back, it has a sun and a moon and the constellation itself. Oh, the detail on this. I'm really actually impressed. Should I have changed the lengths? Maybe. But this is that one? Let me try to make this one a little longer. I'm so starting to sweat, though. So I'm wearing my festive Christmas sweater. I made it a little longer. Cute. Man. Nailing it. Okay, then I said I was a size 7 ring. Um, I think this is red and white. So it's kind of domed. Bruh, not bad, shoot. Part of me wants to buy like four more just for funsies. I think this was actually way better than I thought. When you look at the shop, I was like, I don't know if these styles are really me, but I love the two necklaces I got, this ring. I wouldn't have picked it out myself, but I think it's really cute on. And all for like under $40. Nailed it, my friends. I don't think I'm a seven though. The next one I think would hit a lot of popular age groups and it's a Polaroid. I got one last year and I think they're just really fun. I know there's like a ton of different bundle deals right now. So get a Polaroid, 
get some film, get a cute case. I got this, well, I got my Polaroid as a present too, so I know how great they are. And then I just got this cute little case off Amazon, and this guy just sits in there. And then it's just a fun way, you know, to take some cute memories. One thing with Polaroids is that I'm always looking for ways to display them. So one really cute gift idea, I found these on Amazon, little magnets where you put the Polaroid in and then you put them on your fridge. I think it comes in like an eight pack. I have like six on my fridge. And then I also, these are good gift ideas for other people, just like the magnet itself. I think I gave my mom one. I had this cute pic of her. So I put in the Polaroid and that's on her fridge. I gave it to my friend who moved away. Even if you already have a Polaroid, these are a great gift idea. You put the Polaroid in it and they're just magnets that like come apart. You put the picture in and then you stick it together. And then yeah, you stick it on your fridge. And I have a bunch of them and I think they're so cute. One other way, I see these frames all the time at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. There's a cute way to get three in a row. So I actually have two of these frames. They're a little cute. They sit, they stand by themselves. It's a great way to show three of your cute Polaroids together. And I really like them. That's also a great idea. What else do I have? Okay, I'm thinking off the top of my head. The one other thing I think, you know, buying for men is not easy unless they know exactly what they want, which I don't think they ever do about anything. I usually buy my husband some like shoes, some clothing, you know, but I also, I was in TJ Maxx the other day, just looking at their gift sets. And I think these would be a cute idea for any man in your life. The first one being a dartboard. I think every man has some space of his own, you know, his own man cave or whatever. And my husband has an office downstairs. And I think this would just be cute to hang up. Just something you can do when you're with the guys downstairs, you know, like chilling. It's just a cute gift idea. And I mean, this was like $50, $20. It's electronic. This would be even cute for a family. You know, I had a dartboard growing up. And did I use it all the time? No. But was it fun when like people came over? Yes. Yes. And this next one, I don't mean it in a creepy way, but I got some binoculars. We went to Colorado with some friends and our one friend had binoculars and we were on a hike. It was like really cool because we saw some abandoned cabins far away. We could see further mountains. My husband expressed kind of wishing he had binoculars for hikes. We love hiking. It's something I think we want to do more of, especially travel and hike. They're some of my favorite trips. So I got him these. These were like $15. I think he'll like them, you know, for the price, for the effort, for the price. These are 10 by 50. And I looked it up and like the first number is the amount of magnification. So 10's not horrible, but I think they made like 20s. The 50, I think has something to do with the amount of light it gets. I don't know. I was literally in TJ Maxx like Googling, like trying to figure this out. And I was like, F it, I'll just get them. They're $15, you know, if they're not the best, but knocks. So yeah, those are just two gift ideas that I think would be cute. And they're pretty simple and easy to get for any man in your life. All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. I like gift giving idea hauls. Even if I'm not getting the gifts themselves, you know, they're just churning, churning the brain. I really like the mystery gold box. I think that is a great idea, especially if you're not sure what to get them. I think they probably think you put more thought into it to pick the pieces out, you know, so win, win, win. Like this video if you found it helpful, comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe to my channel for future act, well, I mostly do active wear reviews, but just, I just do lots of reviews, you know, I love shopping, I love buying stuff, so <laughs> these videos will just be indefinite. But yeah, thanks, love you so much, bye. Okay, so I mess it, oh man, I have to get the, Christmas tree to stop going wild. Bruh.